So I'm Phoebe Cummings, I'm an artist based in Staffordshire um, and I work with raw clay to create temporary sculptures and really thinking a lot about the relationships between nature and the body and time. So Kim Lim was an artist um, from Singapore originally and she moved to uh, London in 1954 to study first at St Martin's and then at the Slade um, and really developed a kind of strong individual practice of her own um, which is you know not an easy thing uh, for a woman from elsewhere to achieve particularly at that time and I think that really comes through in all of her work kind of between sculpture and printmaking this kind of clarity of vision and uh, you know commitment to following her own path I think in a lot of ways. For me I think with her work there's always this combination of uh, strength and uh, a kind of power to them but there's also this really beautiful simplicity and a kind of serenity to them so it's sort of strong but not in an aggressive way. Attention to detail is very much kind of um, also captured in the way she reduces things in this very simple way um, that kind of really draws you into what's the kind of essence or what's important and you know her handling of materials as well like the surface of the wood is so um, kind of rich and um, yeah there's everything is considered I think in terms of what she presents us with. I think even today you know it's still a lot of challenges as a woman kind of working as an artist particularly as a mother um, like Kim Lim I've got two children and uh, yeah I think that balancing of making work and kind of fulfilling that role as a mother is yeah will always be kind of um, a negotiation and uh, but also the two kind of inform each other as well and I think that you know, is the same with her work that she, um, you know, she allowed that both to be parts of her life and kind of not separate them too much. The one piece that I particularly love of hers in the exhibition um, is called Muse and it's from 1959 and I think it's astonishing really to think how early on in her career she made that she'd only been in the UK a few years and um, yeah it's such a powerful piece I think and uh, you know the sense of weight and balance and also you know it's almost with her sculpture that I, yeah I feel like they almost have a pulse or um, yeah there's kind of the the presence that they have within a space is so strong and I think that piece really encapsulates all of those things. I think that her work's still so significant today really in the way that she offers such a clear voice and um, you know is still so modern in the way that um, she worked and particularly the way that I think she worked across boundaries really in so many different ways but you know in terms of the sculpture and printmaking which were kind of ongoing elements in her work but also um, you know for me working particularly in ceramics but thinking about how you know both sculpture and craft are kind of coexist within the work mm. and uh, you know her sensitivity to materials and kind of I think not overlooking those as you know being secondary to the kind of thinking and conceptual elements of the work but kind of really bringing all of those things together um, and I think you know recognizing um, what she achieved as a woman at that time and uh, you know kind of forging her own path and I think always having this commitment to who she was her own vision and uh, also you know sometimes that kind of refusal to be um, kind of identified or defined in certain terms she was very clear about who she was and what she was doing and I think that's also a really important part of her legacy.